So you say prepare for tomorrow, comma, today. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Yeah, it's a really good question. So it really came out of the profession that I worked in. So I, I worked in public relations pretty much throughout my professional career. And we spent so much time planning. We spent a lot of time planning for the companies that we work with and the clients that we have and helping to make sure that what we communicate is, is accurate and effective and is going to be received by the, the audience that we're trying to speak to. So, but along with that comes crisis. Something happens. And the reality is, is that we have to be prepared for a particular crisis to come up with our, with our clients and the companies that we work with. And I applied that approach to working with my clients in health coaching. Because the reality is, Jared, a lot of us, we work a lot of hours. We have families. We have a lot of obligations. We're taking our kids to soccer practice and doctor's appointments. And I don't live everybody's life. I don't know the challenges that they're going through. But the reality is, is that if you can prepare for your plan B and you can think ahead, so that if you are planning to go to yoga class, Jared, let's say you plan to go to yoga class Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5.30 p.m., you know that you've, you've talked to your, your partner, you've talked to your bosses, your colleagues, whomever you need to talk to, let them know they need to leave early. You're going to be going to yoga class. You're going to be not available for an hour. You have to leave. You have to prep. You have to change. You have to do class. You have to shower. All, it takes take, take a lot of time. But let's say that you have to leave at 445 in order to commute and get to the place and you're all ready to go. It's 430. So it's, you're getting ready to, to leave and head out. And all of a sudden you get a text or an email from somebody. It could be a boss. It could be your partner. It could be your, your, your child's teacher and said, Jared, uh, we, we, we need to talk to you. We need to talk to you in, in a few minutes now. So you're not going to make it that yoga class. So what's your plan B? I talk to my clients and when I give workshops about this a lot because we're in more control over how we overcome things than we think. Because in most of us see a crisis and what, or a crisis, I put this in quotes, we have something that really impacts something we want to do and that we say, screw it. We're not going to go to that class. I'm not going to be able to exercise. That means I'm going to overeat. I can do whatever I want and I'm, I, I'm done. So I want people to realize that if they can't make it to that class, then what are they going to do instead? I want people to constantly think about that and understand what, what is in their control. So yeah. that's my idea for, for preparing for tomorrow today is really thinking ahead and being strategic. 